Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are gonna try to do a little bit of video content on this customer's 2003 truck. So he had called us, we had quoted it, and before we knew it, he showed up uh, and all he needed was a ride to the airport. So he dropped off his, uh, for the most part, bone stock 2003, as you guys can see here, we got the engine removed. Um, you guys can kind of look at how crusty this thing is. Obviously, before we bring it back in, we're gonna spray it down, clean it up for him, but uh, not a rusty truck at all and well taken care of from what we can tell. Uh, it has all the upgraded Thurin and, oh geez, I'm gonna draw a blank, Synergy Steering. Um, and the new owner, uh, really nice guy, really, really awesome guy, said this is what he wanted and uh, brought it here to make it happen. So going over this project, Again, 03 quad cab short bed. It is leveled on a, I wanna say, I think it's Thurin coil or Carly coils, Thurin track bar. So he's got some upgrades there. Uh, definitely more of a meat on the tire kind of guy. So if you like that style, that's uh, what this truck's all about. And then from here, we're gonna do a thousand horsepower engine build uh, coupled with a set of dynamite injectors. The compounds that we had talked about we did build his tranny already. For those of you guys that are curious, he got a fat input shaft, a billet intermediate, billet output standard spline, a uh, triple disc lifetime converter from uh, DPC, billet second gear servo. Uh, he got a Mermod valve body and uh, you know, GPZs, uh, the whole nine. But I figured you guys might wanna see a little bit of the truck. Um, really, it's not in bad shape at all. It, it, it's it's a good looking truck um again drove all the way here from texas uh we got all his stuff here in the bed um just all his stock stuff anything like that but uh yeah not a bad looking truck let's go ahead and take you guys inside we're gonna we're gonna start tearing it down i mean look at the inside of this guys very clean truck for I want to say this thing's got like 300,000 miles on it. So a lot of miles, but in overall, very good shape. Let's go ahead, go inside and start cleaning this engine.
after I scrub. Some Dawn dish soap, wire brushes, a lot of degreaser. We got it stripped down. There's still some parts that are dirty that I'm gonna be able to throw in the parts washer. I really just wanted to focus on getting the block clean before I really even tore much down. That's why we left the head on. The head's going back as a core, so we weren't worried about it. Got some of his parts in the parts washer already. And if you guys look real close, you can actually see, um, or is it, you could see like how the edge of the piston was starting to melt. Uh, so whoever was driving this drove it pretty hard. Um, this is a good one. You can see the burn marks on the side of the piston. And then if you look right, right there, there's actually a crack in the piston. So this is a prime example of if we would have turned up the power, it would have been, could have been going down the road on a test drive, could have been on his way home to Texas. It would have started going thunk, 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 thunk. And uh, that would have been the end of it. So now let's get the oil pan ripped off, oil filter housing ripped off, front cover, rear main, and uh, let's get this thing pulled apart and uh, cleaned up. Here we are. Everything's been disassembled, minus the crankshaft, which Dave's gonna help me yank that out. And then uh, because the cylinder bores and everything mic out good, we are just going to do our original plan, which is reuse his crankshaft, engine, I'm, I machined or checked everything. I will obviously check his main bearings, but his cam is the non-EGR early style. Um, so we are just going to reuse this cam that looked in great shape and tap it. Uh, and then we are gonna go ahead and do Street Fighters with new cut and coated pistons from Industrial. Uh, I don't necessarily think it needed that, but that was the fastest pistons we could get. Um, and this guy does want his truck back eventually. And once this is done, then I have to fab up his compounds. His tranny's done, then his compounds will be the last thing. And we should have this guy on the road. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, tear this apart. Uh, we're going to take a quick trip up to New Performance Auto real quick, hone this sucker out, and then uh, we'll clean it. And then the next time you guys see this, we'll be putting it together in the engine area. Well, this is currently where she sits. Just getting the last bit of stuff. Ran through the parts washer. Um, I love this heated parts washer because it just takes that clear coat right off. Uh, that yellowish protective coat. So um, we got his adapter plate cleaned up, flex plates cleaned up. The only thing left is his oil pan. There's his stock turbo, which we will not be using, nor his manifold. We have his block, uh, got honed out real quick, checked, everything's good there. We have his fluid damper, a DDP 12 mil pump, a set of 625s, a fleece uh, fire ringed head, firing gasket uh we have a set of push rods um the head already has valve springs all new gaskets throughout uh we have all of his stuff over here um we're gonna reuse this cam because it looked fine and put some new rod and main bearings in here this engine is getting a set of street fighters um his crank measured out correctly and that's clean ready to go that's why everything's kind of made its way into here um, and I got everything kind of oiled so it doesn't flash over, but, uh, I am going to end the video there. It's kind of how it is. Uh, you spend the day getting everything torn down, cleaned up, measured, um, ready for assembly. We're still waiting on pistons. So for right now, I just kind of got everything over here because this is the next engine that I do have to put together. So everything's kind of set up for now. Uh, his pistons are shipping. Uh, actually, I believe they ship today. They're coming from industrial injection. Again, those are the coated pistons for this engine and it will have a set of street fighters. Uh, it should be a pretty solid thousand horsepower setup, do anything he wants uh, with those compounds. And again, I will, uh, like I said, I, I got lucky today and this is all I did today. So I kind of filmed the video of it and showing you guys the parts, but uh, well, when this goes together, I'll try to either film it for you or update you guys on it. But we're getting down to the nitty gritty. His trans is there. Engine's getting ready to go back together here shortly. From there, we'll get his compounds fabbed up and throw this in the truck. Uh, this should be a very fun setup. That 1,000 horsepower 
uh, I actually kind of, I don't want to say stole, but I got this recipe idea from Calibrated Power, um, their white shop quad cab uh, ram that Tim Mahoney's driven a few times. That HE351 480, 150% overs, a 12 mil pump, that thing has always done really well. It's a good do all truck. It's not going to, you know, set a, a new record drag race or anything, but it does everything really well, including street driving which is what this guy wanted to do so hopefully you guys enjoyed the teardown content again the only thing i saw was a couple of slightly melted pistons a little bit of cracking in the piston bowl which is normal and uh, we'll get this thrown back together get this guy on the road like this one drop a comment down below subscribe if you are not already and as always guys i will catch y'all on the next one